Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel again. In this video, we will see how can we to work our application with offline. So in this video, I'm, I'm going to use Redux Persist. So I had just created a simple project that is a setup for my React Native project. Uh, this is a the simple project I use React Native with uh, Redux and Saga. In this, I had just uh, hit an Google API where I'll able to get the list of books and when we redirect to the next page, I just uh, will able to see the image of book and title of that book. You can just simply clone the uh, setup from here and uh, just use it. I will uh, post the link in the description. From there, you will able to go through the repository. So first, uh, see our application. I just uh, let me stop it from debugging and reload it. Just close the debugger. I don't think package manager is uh, connected. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, there is a list of books. Uh, when you click on the book, you will able to see the image of that book and title of book and author of books. That is a simple basic setup. So uh, you will be able to find the code from uh, that particular repository. So uh, our target is to make application work offline. So you will be able to see I had connected with my Wi-Fi. If I close this and I had disconnected my Wi-Fi and reload our application, there you can see uh, there is nothing to display. If I run it on again, uh, this is connected wait for a second yeah now you will able to see all of the data so our target is to see how can we make our application work uh, with offline for this we need to install two dependency and PMI redux persist for persist our reducer and store and second for React Native Community slash async slash storage. Both of the uh, library we need to do, like uh, Redux persist for persisting our store or persist our reducer, and for async storage for make our storage asynchronously like uh, to save all of uh, our state uh, to our async storage so just uh, i had already installed both of application you uh, i'm sorry both of library you just uh, need to go to our store and uh, what you need to do you need to import something from uh, redux persist and also you need to import uh, async storage for our storage storage from uh, let's read react community async storage yeah and from redux uh, persist i need uh, persist reducer persist store and uh, persist reducer here i need to use my const uh, persisted reducer This will be the persisted reducer and uh, what I need to do I need uh, to use here my persist reducer and for parameter I need to pass here my config or persist config also uh, my root reducer root reducer I had already created with my combined reducer uh, I had only one reducer there you can uh, use multiple reducer by import here and uh, just uh, uh, separate with comma you can use ebc xyz whatever your reducer is so but currently i have only one reducer i'm just gonna persist it and uh, what i need to do here i need to pass my persist config i'll create it and uh, 
second parameter will be our rotary tensor. So const uh, assist config assist config will be an object and uh, here I need to pass my key key will be equal to the root not equal to the column and for storage I'm gonna assign it async storage okay now we have our key of our persist config and also I have my st storage just pass the persist reducer inside my store and uh, what I need to do I need to do not uh, need to export my uh, configure store I need here my const uh, store that will be equal to configure store as configure store return the store here so it will assign store inside our const store and uh, what I need I need another thing const persistor and inside persistor I need to persist my store so here I'm going to use persist store and pass store as the parameter that's all and uh, I need to export this as well so that I'll able to use in my app file so I need to go my app.js and uh, here I'm not uh, gonna use configure store but I already have my store there so just import store here and uh, what is another thing this is persister also I need my persist kit so import something from uh, Redux persist slash integration with react and uh, here I have to use my persist gate so just use persist gate here and uh, wrap our main component with persist gate and uh, here I have to use my persister and for persister pass the reference of uh, the persister here I had already imported also like uh, for loading I'm gonna just pass it uh, null at time like for the loading when you uh, navigate between the screen so it will uh, load the state so I do not uh, uh, want to do anything with it so I'm just gonna pass the loading here null you can pass uh, any screen your splash screen here as well so that's all and uh, I'm gonna run my application okay persist reducer is not a function in persist reducer is undefined persisted reducer where is the error there will be persist reducer not persisted reducer persisted reducer is our variable save this refresh again now you will able to see it is working fine if I move to the next screen it is working fine now this is time to check whether uh, our application will work at the offline mode or not so I'm gonna turn off my Wi-Fi now you will able to see my Wi-Fi is disconnected now so if I reload my application there you can see data is available now as well if I navigate to next screen it is working fine as uh, earlier in this video you had seen when I disconnected from my Wi-Fi so I will not able to see anything on my screen but now with the help of Redux Persist as it persists uh, uh, my reducer and inside reducer is persist uh, the state of uh, the reducer the test state so we'll able to see the our application data offline so by using redux persist things are gonna easy so 
that's all for today video if you enjoy then give the big thumbs up to the video also if you are new then subscribe my channel thank you